our debate today is uh, of great importance for our society and especially our youth, our future. None of us here today can ignore this long-standing and continuously evolving threat affecting the life, directly or indirectly, of millions of citizens in Europe. Over 93 million Europeans have tried an illicit drug in their life. Overdose deaths continue to rise. As the competent commissioner, I am fully committed to the fight against this threat that cuts across all generations. Despite, uh, as you know, my particularly heavy obligations and responsibilities in tackling the migration crisis and the threats to our security, the fight against drugs, I can assure you, is a key priority for me. Today, we prove once more that Europe is not just about numbers. Europe has a social face, does care about those in need, and works hard to crack down unscrupulous criminal networks and their unethical businesses. Drugs is one of them. I would like to warmly welcome the successful conclusion after four years of the intense and demanding interinstitutional negotiations on the new psychoactive substances package. This result would not have been possible without the great contribution of the two rapporteurs, Mrs. Teresa Jimenez Becqueril Barrio and uh, Mr. Michal Boni. I would like to thank both of them personally for their constant efforts and support for their commitment. In addition to traditional illicit drugs, the number of new, very harmful substances being placed in the European markets, often as legal alternatives, is dramatically increasing. Our European Drugs Agency is currently monitoring over 620 new psychoactive substances that are causing severe health problems or even death. In fact, one new psychoactive substance is detected every week. Once the new legislation enters into force, we will leave behind long procedures and will put in place an effective and efficient tool to tackle harmful NPS. Information exchange will improve and the role of the European Drugs Agency will be enhanced, including by working hand-in-hand -hand with Europol. So far, the European Union has banned 19 new psychoactive substances and eight more are in the process of being banned. I would like to thank you in advance for adopting your opinion tomorrow on a concrete case of a very dangerous new psychoactive substance, furanil fandana, the nil nil, which has to be put under control measures. Today's package is part of a wider, comprehensive approach that this Commission has been working on the last three years in the context of the EU drug strategy to provide support to member states' efforts in their fights against drugs. In July, the Council adopted the EU Drug Action Plan for the period 2017 to 2020 based on my proposal. This action plan enhances and updates existing actions while it identifies new priority areas such as online awareness raising activities, targeting young people in particular, or exploring the potential connections between drug trafficking and financing of terrorist groups, migrant smuggling, and trafficking in human beings. We are also very actively working on the new policy cycle on organized and serious crime 
toward disrupting activities related to drugs production, trafficking and distribution in the European Union. The European Union is also on the lead in the worldwide fight against drugs together with global partners. For the first time, the European Union is speaking with one voice on drugs-related issues in international fora. We hope that this will also be the case for the next meeting of the United Nations Commission of Narcotic Drugs. Dear colleagues, obviously, our fight against drugs is not finished with this legislation. But today, we send a clear and strong message of our decisiveness and readiness to tackle new, very dangerous threats for our society. We must and we will continue our efforts in close and continuous cooperation with this House, the Member States and our stakeholders. I'm looking forward to the debate today and thank you for the attention you give to the European drugs policy. Uh, thank you. Dear colleagues, <laughs> once again I would like to express my thanks to the European Parliament and in particular to our two rapporteurs for the constructive work over the last years on this very important topic. Indeed, and to was said today, we need a, a strong response to the phenomenon of the number of new drugs detected at the EU level. We need, and I can assure you we work on that, for a swift, strong action to protect Europeans, in particular our youth and those who are vulnerable in our societies, from the extremely dangerous threat of harmful new psychoactive substances. The proposed EU legislation will improve the speed of our actions against NPS even to a few weeks in case of an immediate risk to public health. It also ensures that an effective process for exchange of information is in place and that our European Drugs Agency has the competences and the resources to provide the relevant expert advice. A long process in the European uh, Parliament in the Council comes to a successful end. But the fight against drugs does not end here. We have a lot of work ahead. We have taken some important steps, but there is still much to do. First of all, in order to protect our youth, as I said before, to support the victims, and to prosecute the criminals. The European Commission, and I personally, will stand by our Member States to tackle this sensitive issue. I count on your support, and I'm looking forward to an overwhelming supporting majority for this important package tomorrow at the vote in the plenary. Thank you.